What is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be minting our very first NFTs using the Tezos network. Because number one, it's way cheaper to make NFTs than it is on Ethereum. And number two, they're actually cleaner, so they're better for the environment. Uh, and number three, the artwork on Tezos is really cool. I like to buy stuff uh, from other artists. I like the art that's on here and uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. So I'm going to show you guys how to make an NFT on here from scratch, from zero. And we're going to get started with that. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to need, like any other Web3 blockchain cryptocurrency dApp that we interact with, is number one, you're going to need the native cryptocurrency to pay for the network fees. The same way you do stuff on Ethereum, you have to pay in Ethereum. It's the same thing with Tezos. You have to buy Tezos and pay for the network fees in Tezos. Now, the good thing is, like I said, it's super cheap. So I made my first NFT for about $1.50, I think, after all the fees, maybe $2 max. So you don't even really need a full coin. You could, you know, get away with like half a coin. Um, if you don't know where to get it, go over to CoinGecko, go over here, see all trading pairs, and boom, these are all of the exchanges that the coin is available on along with all the pairings. I like to use Binance. Um, if that's not available in your country, then you can also use Kraken um, and then Coinbase as well. Now, right after that, you're gonna need a Tezos wallet. I like to use Temple Wallet. It's templewallet.com. It's gonna give you your private keys, so make sure you write those down. Uh, keep them safe, never show them to anyone. You know the drill. Um, so after you've got some Tezos coin, if you got your Tezos wallet, you're halfway done. So there are two main NFT marketplaces on Tezos. Um, the first one I've made a video about before. It's called Hisset Nunsi or Hen. Uh, people call it Hen. Um, this is where you would, oh, this is pretty cool. This is where you would uh, mint your first NFT. So this is where you set up the price. This is where you set up the amount. So, oh my gosh. This art is so cool. I just want to keep buying stuff. Okay, I'm going to stay focused. Once you've installed the Temple Wallet, it's going to be up here. Make sure you send some Tezos coin over to your wallet. Um, so once you've got all that out the way, up here on the right tab, you're going to see the sync button and you're going to sync it up with your temple wallet that you just installed. So just that the wallet and the website can communicate with each other. Now over here on the tab, you're going to go over here to where it says object and you're going to upload your object, upload the file. You can see here it supports uh, GIF files, JPEGs, MP4s. Uh, I'm going to upload a video here that I made. This is the first like 3d file that i made so i'm just gonna give it a name 3d ethereum logo i'll uh, give it a description a rotating 3d and then the royalties any number from 10 through 25 i believe so i'm gonna leave it at 10 and then just hit preview and then this is what your nft file is gonna look like and then you can just hit mint object down here so the first fee that we're getting here is gonna cost us one cent in gas fees and then 53 cents in storage fees. So we're gonna hit confirm. Uh, so now we can go back to the tabs, go to manage assets and over here under creations, this is gonna show us the creations we just made. So this is one I made earlier as well. And then the Ethereum one that I just made is it should be uploading pretty soon. Uh, there it is. So I'm gonna click the NFT that I just made and then as you can see, one edition and it's not for sale. So we've got to change that obviously, we want to put it up for sale so people can buy it. So down here, you're going to hit the swap button and you're going to type in the object amount. So this is how many amounts of the NFT you're going to have up for sale. So you can have, you know, whatever number you want, uh, but try to keep in mind that people don't like to buy NFTs that have like a gazillion versions of them, right? People like to have art that's rare. People like to have something that's low in quantity. They like scarcity. Um, so try to keep that in mind when you're thinking of the number. And then there's gonna be the price per object. This is how much you're gonna charge in Tezos. Um, there is one piece of advice I have heard from another NFT artist that he said. He said, whatever NFT price you're thinking of charging, charge less. All I would say is, however many you think you should sell, sell fewer. And however much you think you should charge, charge less. And that is the smartest piece of advice I got in this whole year. You can shear a sheep many times, but you can only skin a sheep once, okay? If you set your price nice and low so that it feels, it feels very affordable, you want your community to buy it, and then you want the price to go up on the secondary market so that everybody's happy and the, and the, and the good vibes are flowing. 
So maybe you continue to make art and you continue to grow your name and your brand, you get a bigger reputation. Uh, your collector just got your NFT for half a Tezos and now it's worth, you know, 100 Tezos. So your collector is happy and then you're also happy because you're getting royalties on all of those sales forever. You're getting royalties. I'm going to charge like one Tezos for this. And then we're going to hit swap down here. And it's going to hit prepare for swap. And we're going to get our final network fee. And yeah, so I got something here like warning transaction is likely to fail. Sometimes the website is like overloaded. And as you can see, the transaction is invalid and the node did not accept it. Okay, so we're gonna come back to this in a few minutes. 2,000 years later. All right, I'm back here uh, about four days later. Um, I've uploaded a completely different 3D model. This is just like a new one that I was making. I played around with it. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna try to mint this now. So the object amount is gonna be how many of the NFTs I'm gonna make available. So I'm gonna make it 12. And then the price per object, I'll make it like 2.2 Tezos. So I'm gonna hit swap, and then it's gonna confirm a transaction in my temple wallet. And as you can see, this one will go through. We're gonna pay 80 cents in fees, and that should be available for sale right after that transaction is cleared. Okay, so we finally minted an NFT on Tezos. Um, it was a process, but we finally got here. So basically this is the uh, NFT that I just made. It's a 3D model. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Uh, and if you open this on your browser, it's actually visible in augmented reality as well, which is super cool. Uh, augmented reality, if you don't know, that's basically like the same technology that's used in Pokemon Go uh, and Snapchat filters. It's when a different reality is augmented through your camera. It's an augmented reality. It's an artificial reality. Um, so this 3D model is visible in augmented reality. If you open this uh, link with your phone, I'll have a link to this in the uh, YouTube description. You'll be able to view this in AR and like take photos with it and interact with it. It's really cool. There's uh, one thing to note here from making this NFT that I didn't realize until now. And that is that you cannot edit the description. You cannot edit the title. Sorry about the police sirens. This was just like a super random um, description and title. It just like flowed from my mind it was like a stream of consciousness but now i can't change it i don't have the option to change it so now that the nft minting process has been done using hen um, i can now view the nft available for sale on different tezos marketplaces so hen is where you mint it and you uh you turn it into an actual nft that people can buy and then on these other websites like object um aka swap um, but on all these other tezos nft marketplaces you can't actually make the NFT there, um, but you can view and you can buy other stuff. So now that I've made it on Hen, um, my NFT will be visible under my creations tab. And as you can see, it's now uh, available for sale. So to wrap up, uh, I showed you guys how to create the NFT. I showed you guys how to mint it to turn it into an actual buyable NFT. And then now it's also available on all the other uh, Tezos marketplaces, it'll be available for sale on there, such as Object, um, uh, Hen, of course, and any other Tezos marketplaces that come out in the future. Uh, so if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Uh, send it to someone who wants to start minting on the Tezos blockchain. The reason I got attracted to Tezos was because nobody else is on it right now. Um, Tezos, as far as I've seen, has a very, very strong community, especially on Twitter. There's a lot of artists that are making stuff um, on Hen and on Tezos. Uh, just from the Twitter acti activity that I've seen. So there's a lot of money coming in and out of the Tezos blockchain. Uh, but yeah, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, tweet about uh, projects that I'm getting into that I don't really make videos about. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned from this. Peace.